Are you familiar with the phrase, I wrote the book on this? I know all about it, Leanne. I wrote the book. Hi guys, my name is Barry and welcome back to the channel. With the news of Kevin Williamson directing Scream 7, I thought it would be right to go back to his directorial debut and his only directorial credit in Teaching Mrs Tingle. And I don't remember watching this movie when I was younger. I remember it being on and I don't think I ever watched it from start to finish. So this is the first time that I've watched the movie from start to finish. Just like Scream 3, this movie was affected by the Columbine Massacre. The film was supposed to be titled Killing Mrs. Tingle, but because of what happened in real life, they had to change things around and even change the title from Killing Mrs. Tingle to Teaching Mrs. Tingle. Leanne, played by Katie Holmes, who is the main character, she needs an A in her history class in order for her to get a scholarship. But the only problem with that is the only person standing in her way is actually Mrs. Tingle, a woman who doesn't like anybody and is completely honest with everybody. So it is going to be hard for anyone to get an A in the class. We've got Joe as well, who is Leanne's best friend. And we've also got Luke, who had a thing with Leanne a couple of years ago, but Joe is the one who likes Luke now. So we've got a kind of triangle going on. But with these three characters, there's, there's a mix up between the three of them and Mrs. Tingle where Luke is trying to do the right thing and try and help Leanne with her work, but Leanne doesn't want to cheat. However, Mrs. Tingle finds the papers in her bag and she wants to show them to the principal. But with that mix up, Leanne wants to make things right. So she actually goes to Mrs. Tingle's house to apologize and say that it, this wasn't what it seems. And things just go from bad to worse in that scenario where they end up taking Mrs. Tingle hostage in their own home. Because they are teenagers, they don't really know what they're doing. And by taking Mrs. Tingle hostage, they don't know how this thing's going to play out because they're trying to find a way out of it as they're holding her hostage. Helen Mirren was absolutely fantastic in this movie. I didn't even know that it was Helen Mirren that played Mrs. Tingle. Whenever you see the posters for teaching Mrs. Tingle, it's just always the three characters that you see in the front cover, but you never see the teacher, Mrs. Tingle. And I knew Helen Mirren played Mrs. Tingle, but I didn't know at the time who she was or who actually played Mrs. Tingle. That's probably why I didn't really watch the movie. But she stole the show for me. She was fantastic. Marissa Coughlin, who played Joe, I think she was almost as good as Helen Mirren. She was probably my favourite teenager in the film, whereas you've got Barry Watson, who plays Luke. He's just your typical good-looking jock guy, or it wasn't even a jock. He was a, that typical good-looking guy that you would get in your late 90s teen movies back in the day. But there's something about Katie Holmes that I didn't quite like, to be honest. I think she was quite boring. That's probably part of her character as well. But when I look at Katie Holmes in films like Disturbing Behaviour, she always plays this kind of door faced person that you just really can't get behind and it's the same with this movie I feel for her but I just feel like the characters around Leanne are more charismatic so I could get behind those more than I could the actual main character you can tell this is a Kevin Williamson movie both in writing and directing I know that this is his only directing movie but there's just something about it that just screams Kevin Williamson especially the dialogue the dialogue isn't as tight as the rest of his other written work that he's done over his, over his time but but there's just something about it that you can watch the film and just you just know that it's a Kevin Williamson movie. Even the school looks like a school in the faculty that he done the screenplay for. Everything just feels kind of like the faculty without the aliens. I think the good thing about seeing this movie now is I was expecting this film to be bad. I've not heard anything great or even good about teaching Mrs. Tingle. I heard it was a complete misfire by Kevin Williamson and that's one of the reasons why he hasn't directed since doing teaching Mrs. Tingle. But with that mindset, watching the film, I'm like, okay, this, this is not a bad film. And then as the movie progressed and as things got worse for the three teens, I'm like, this is a kind of cool scenario, an unrealistic scenario, a fictional scenario and I thought it was actually pretty good. All the way through the movie, I was expecting to see something really bad, as in not a good film, but I was pleasantly surprised from beginning to end. There were some funny moments, some crazy moments as well, but the one thing I did like was I genuinely didn't know how this movie was going to play out until the very end of the film. And I think, unfortunately, for the film, and I have to give some negatives as well, is the ending of the film was probably the weakest part of the movie. 
being Kevin Williamson, I was expecting a kind of cool twist, not like M. Night Shyamalan twists, but a kind of cool hip twist at the end of the film, but it played out exactly like a standard movie would play out, and I didn't really get an oomph at the end of the movie. It was still an okay ending. I just thought maybe they could have amped it up a little bit at the end, but at the same time, it wasn't bad. That was just the weakest part of the movie. One thing that I did really like, though, was the decisions that they made throughout the film that the teens were making. Every decision made things worse, it spiralled out of control where they had to tie Mrs Tingle up and ended up hurting Mrs Tingle by accident. These things that were happening throughout the movie just kept getting worse and worse and worse to the point where Leanne was looking up law books to find out if there's any way they can get out of this because they know what they were doing was bad but they didn't realise how bad it was until it started spiralling out of control. That's the sort of thing you don't really see happening in films these days, but with the help of Kevin Williamson with the, the writing that he done, I thought it was actually pretty decent. Other than the ending though, guys, I think this is a pretty good film. It's one of these gems of a late 90s film that if I watched this movie in the late 90s, I would have absolutely loved it. And sometimes when I watch a film for the first time that's made 25 years ago, I maybe wouldn't enjoy it, but watching this one, maybe it's because I like that style of film and that era of film. Maybe that's why I still like it, even even though this is the first time I've saw it. But I, I thought it was actually really good. A gem of a 90s movie that I wasn't expect to see because of the negativity behind it. To sum it up, it was The Faculty without the aliens. It was Scream without Ghostface. So what are your thoughts on teaching Mrs. Tingle, guys? Do you like it? Have you liked it ever since the movie came out? What do you think of it after 25 years? Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And I'll talk to you soon. Meeting adjourned. Get you, Barbara. Ever play in the cat? Ah! Ah! Someone's in the back!